Fetch AI at the time of this recording is seeing a bit of a breakdown move and it continues to hold between our significant key area of support between the 1.213 and the 1.047 and on today's video i will be discussing the reasons as to why we need to continue holding within this uh, key area of support give you the scenarios that can play out in case we lose it and above all give you my long-term price prediction analysis here on the daily chart so make sure that you stick around till the end of the video and starting the video on the four hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening since the 5th of august when we saw a massive breakdown move we saw a very nice bounce to the upside where we picked in an edu 12 count one before we finally saw another breakout to the upside in an edu 12 count three and after we picked in an edu 12 count three i was expecting a bit of a short term pullback in an edu 12 count four whose minimum target areas i highlighted on the charts using this blue target area an area that I came up with by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave, that is the second wave to the high of that edu 12 count 3, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.382 and the Fib level 0 0.618. And that lies between the 1.214 and the $1.05 dollars an area that we have not fully maximized. And there is a high chance that we have a low in place for this edu 12 count 4 and in the next coming hours we can easily see a bounce to the upside in an edu 12 count 5 whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that edu 12 count 1 and dragging the fibs to the high of that edu 12 count 5 giving me the first target area at the fib level 0 0.618 and that lies above the 1.6222 and a break above that then i will have the fib level 1.618 as my next target area and that lies above the 1.843 and those are the areas that we need to pay attention to in case we see a reversal in the next coming hours we also need to be prepared for a worst case scenario where we can easily see a breakdown move give us a break to the lower side of this blue target area over here in case of such a scenario i will be watching for support on the 0 0.949 as the first target area and on holding above that key area of support we can easily see another bounce to the upside breaking above significant key areas of resistances we also need to have in mind that a break to the lower side of this blue target area will give us an invalidation of this additive structure that I have here on the charts, suggesting that whatever we have here on the charts is a three wave structure to the upside in an ABC corrective structure like that. And there's a chance that we can continue heading further down in a move that can easily give us a reset of the lows that we made on the 5th of august below the 0 0.7 dollars so that is the alternative scenario that you need to have in mind jumping to the daily chart on the daily chart on the long term i'm still expecting higher prices where i have this additive structure starting from last year when we got our bear market lows to the high that we made above the 3.479 in an edu 12 count one then we saw a breakdown move in an edu 12 count two whose minimum target areas i have highlighted on the charts using this blue target area an area that we have not fully maximized and there's a high chance that we also have a low in place for this second wave and in the next coming weeks we can easily see a break above significant key areas of resistances and get an impulsive move to the upside in an edu 12 count three where I expect Fetch AI to easily hit $6 in that edu 12 count 3 based on the trend based Fibonacci and that will be a perfect 6x to the upside then we can expect a short term pullback in an edu 12 count 4 then finally see even higher prices in an edu 12 count 5 so that is the price action that I'm expecting here on the Fetch AI chart for the short term and also on the long term and that's all for this video.